Hi, welcome to the Handy Hudsonite. Today we're going to be looking at how to test your car's battery. Is your car having trouble starting? Maybe it starts intermittently. Maybe it's just starting rough. That could be the ind indication that your car's battery is going bad or is already bad. So I'm going to be showing you how to do a simple test with a multimeter for your vehicle. I'm going to be doing it on a 2004 Honda Odyssey, but the principle is the same with all vehicles. And this is going to enable you to have peace of mind to know whether your battery needs to be replaced or whether there's some other issue going on with your alternator or your starter or some other, uh, maybe it's a spark issue with your spark plugs. This is going to help narrow down what exactly is wrong with your vehicle when it comes to starting. So with that in mind, let's get into it and show you how you can be handy with testing your car's battery. Today, my wife and I were getting ready to head out to the store and the car wouldn't start. It would just make a cranking noise, which I'll uh, show you later in the video. But it's, uh, it, it was an issue where I would put the key into the ignition, go to crank it, and it would just click, 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 click. And that was an indication that the, there was not enough voltage getting to the alternator to the battery to turn over the engine. This is a common issue when batteries start going out. Now this is a, a car that I acquired two years ago, so I don't know how old the battery is. I give some tips later on in the video about how to tell how old a battery is. I'm going to show you easy ways to test your battery using a multimeter and this is something that you will find invaluable for, for yourself, for your family, for your friends because a lot of people don't know how to do this. I have a Bosch multimeter here and these are fairly simple to work with even though they appear to be complicated and for simple battery testing we want to set this here over to the volts you don't want ohms for this test and so we set it over to volts and you're gonna want something around 20 volts that setting make sure your voltmeters uh, multimeter is working uh, if these have been sitting around for a while it, the batteries may have died and you might just need to swap out the batteries. Sometimes these batteries can be a bit of a pain to change. They've got small, hard to reach screws that you need specialty tools to um, get this apart, which I had to do with this one and another one. Anyway, so you have your, usually with the multimeter, you have two different cables coming from it, a red and a black, red for the positive lead black for the negative lead. So the battery on the Odyssey, the 2004 at least, which is probably similar for many models, is over here on the driver's side. This red is your positive, usually has a, a red um, sleeve covering it. There's the negative, sometimes these will have sleeves, mine doesn't. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect these, and I don't have the connectors, so I'm actually going to have to hold it. Um, so you touch the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative. I don't know if you can see this. Okay, so I'm showing a reading of about of about 12. You want more like 12.8. Another thing you want to do is a lot of times on the battery it will indicate there will be a date and um, sometimes there just isn't a date on the battery so this one I'm seeing no date there is a barcode but it's it's kind of worn off so uh, this is not going to help us the fact that there is no date on here at least a date that that I can see and um, from what I remember, there there could be a way of finding out how old it is uh, through other means, um, which I won't go into in this video, but uh, 
when you do buy a new battery, make sure to record the date that you buy it because batteries will generally only last about four years and many won't even last that long. They may only last uh, three. And depending on what type of climate you're in, if you're in a very cold climate, that'll put more stress on your battery. So, but four years is the rule of thumb as far as the lifespan of a battery. Check for corrosion around uh, around the electrodes here, the positive and negative, because corrosion will indicate that something's going on. And now that I look at this, actually, I am seeing some green corrosion on the top, which may indicate that this battery is leaking. And that could be a clue as to the fact that this battery could be bad. So, um, you wanna get out uh, yeah, you want to investigate this and just see if if there is anything leaking out. And I am seeing I am seeing a little bit of leakage up here uh, on top. So that could indicate that we have a battery that is going out on us. And the fact that it was only 12 for uh, the cold yeah, for the test, um, 12 volts as opposed to being 12.8 um, uh, or so shows me that uh, the battery could be the culprit. And we were able to start the car uh, periodically. Uh, in fact, I will go ahead and try to start the car for looks like about 14. Now, if this was an alter alternator issue, this number would drop down, but it seems to be staying steady, which shows me that uh, the battery is being charged through the alternator. It's holding steady at 4.38. I know you can't see the display because I have to hold these leads on here. Yeah, it's holding steady right at 14.38. So we may very well have a battery issue, which would be great news because all I've got to do is just go swap this out and we'll be good to go. Just a reminder, uh, be safe and keep in mind you are working around a battery that is filled with acid and to be careful with this sort of test to make sure you know what you're doing it is fairly simple, so, yep, it's holding steady at 14.38. A voltmeter, a multimeter, I should say, is your best friend when it comes to certain electrical issues. Now, there are issues that become more involved that you would need uh, a more sophisticated machine piece of equipment than this, but this is going to do the job when it comes to testing for battery, certain alter alternator uh, issues that you have with your vehicle. And this can be applied to any vehicle. It doesn't have to be just a Honda Odyssey. So I just turned the car off after running it for a couple of minutes, as you saw. This, um, and again, I apologize for not showing you the reading when I was running the car, but it was, I wasn't able to hold it for that test. I will try to do that here so that you can see it. Put my, see if I can get that to stay. Looks like I can. Okay. Wow, we're seeing a big drop here. Okay, you see that voltage? So you know, it's only 10.1. You see how quickly that's dropping? See, that should be at 12.6 or around there. So I think we definitely have a bad battery, which is great news. Well, not the fact that I have to pay for a new battery, but it's great news in the sense that it's not my alternator. Um, oh, maybe I put that directly in the lead. Yeah, it's still low. And you can see it's continuing to drop. Proof that this battery is trash. Definitely a battery that's probably been in here for at least four years, maybe even longer. 
but again, I can't prove it because there's no date on the battery. So <coughs> there you go. And a uh, great way to tell if your battery's bad with a simple multimeter. Um, pick, you can pick these up at any auto store. Uh, even some big box stores will sell these. And they're not expensive at all. Uh, and I could uh, give some links in the description to, uh, to this one and to other ones similar that you could pick up for your own testing. Thanks for watching the video. I hope this helps you to learn how to test your car's battery so that you could be on your way to smooth starting, getting around town, driving the kids around, or whatever it might be. This enables you to do it yourself, learning to be handy so that you can get the job done of replacing the battery and making sure that your car is running well without spending a lot of money by paying somebody else to do it. Now make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell down here below so that you can get instant notifications for when I put up a new video. So until next time, be handy. Ended up being a bad battery. In fact, the battery was seven and a half years old. So way over the recommended age for replacement. We got a brand new battery in here from Advanced Auto Parts. Shout out to them for getting me set up.